Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial was requested by my Instagram followers, so I decided to go ahead and recreate it for you guys. To get started, I'm using my favorite eyeshadow primer. It's the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer, and I'm applying it with my fingers per usual. Now I'll be using the Morphe Brushes 35W palette. Yes, the 35W palette, guys. And I'm going in with this matte creamy shade and I'm just setting my eyeshadow primer with this 217 brush from MAC. Now we're gonna go ahead and dip our Morphe M330 brush into that shimmery purple shade. And we're gonna concentrate this color on the outer V of our eye and we're gonna go in circular motions to help diffuse the color. I really like this Morphe uh, M330 brush because it has a very pointed tapered end to it which helps me get nice and detailed with it. Because this is a 3D type of eyeshadow look, I'm gonna go in with that same purple shade and I'm gonna apply it right in the inner corner of my eye. And another reason why I really love this brush is because of the tapered end, it helps me easily get into that inner corner and create depth and dimension in my eye. Using that same Morphe brush, I'm going into the darker purple and into the browns. We're gonna get into some darker shades to help create a little bit more depth, a little bit more dimension so we can get that nice 3D effect. And as you can see here, this brush is doing an amazing job in keeping the color right below the crease. That's where you wanna keep the darkest shades whenever you're doing a smoked out eye. You wanna keep this color below the crease. Once you have that depth and that dimension, you can go ahead and blend away any imperfections. Using the MAC 230 brush, I'm going into this champagne pink shade and I'm applying this color on my lid. When you're using light toned shadows, you wanna make sure you generously apply it so you can get that color vibrancy. Using the M165 brush from Morphe, I'm going into this, the same purple actually that we put on our outer crease. I'm applying that to our lower lash line. I feel like this is a total Morphe makeup tutorial. I'm using everything Morphe Cosmetics pretty much. But I'm gonna switch into the MAC 263 brush because I get a little bit more precision underneath my lash line. Now we're gonna go in with MAC, whoa, no. It's the Makeup Forever aqua gel eyeliner in black and i'm gonna create myself some awesome wings who loves wings winged eyeliner makes my day especially when they're even i don't know about you guys guys right am i right or am i wrong We cannot have winged eyeliner without mascara, guys. So let's go ahead and thicken those lashes. I'm using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara and I'm generously applying this on my top and bottom lashes. Notice how I fast forwarded it because generously, yes. On to my favorite part. I'm using the NYX Liquid Eyeliner. This is so beautiful, guys. Like. Seriously, if you want to liven up your makeup, just add some glitter on your lid and this is perfect. It's not too much. It gives you that perfect shimmer. On to lashes. You know what? This is actually my favorite part. Yes, LA Mink, my favorite. This one is in tease because it just teases you because there's long ones, there's short ones and it's so fluttery. I love it. On my lips, I'm gonna use this Too Faced Perfect Nude Liner, and you guys, I kid you not, this is really the perfect nude. And then I'm gonna go ahead and top this lip liner off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. It's the perfect, and I'm actually using a Sigma E56 brush to apply it a little bit more precisely. 
And that's it. That is how you create this very beautiful look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thanks again so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Do not forget to thumbs up this video. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.